Hi, welcome to Data Analytics with Numbers. I'm Asif. Being a creator is hard work. Being a lonely creator is even tougher. It's almost as if you're running all the functions of a business alone. And numbers matter. You want to see number of followers increase. You want to see number of subscribers increase. You want to see progress. But when you open an analytics dashboard, it can be quite overwhelming. Have you ever been stuck reloading analytics page again and again, looking to see what has changed, what is improving, what is moving? Have you ever been confused by hundreds of metrics that an analytics dashboard offer or puzzled by what you can do to make something change? We've all been there and it gets really annoying. In this class, we will see how you can learn to read these numbers without worrying too much about analytics and data and focus on what matters. Know your data source. The first thing to know is know the source of your data. Where are you looking for the data? Instagram analytics, YouTube studio, your Shopify dashboard, or a simple Excel sheet of all your sales. You need to know the numbers that are available to you, such as number of subscribers, number of followers, average time watched, click through rate, number of likes, comments, engagement rates, etc. Some of these are intuitive and some of these are quite complicated. You need to decide what metrics matter to you most. You can't keep tracking everything every day. It will only overwhelm you. Next, decide a duration over which you will monitor them. To keep your sanity in check, I would suggest you pick a day in the week and revise your data or analyze your data only on that day during that hour. This would make analysis or looking at performance a weekly thing without overwhelming you. This will also prevent you from overthinking about your performance and allow you to focus on creating content. Know your metrics. Decide an objective for yourself. 10,000 YouTube subscribers, 4,000 watch hours, say 5,000 Instagram followers or $400 weekly revenue for your shop. Once you have decided on the objective, learn about the connections between variables. See what are the things that will result you to achieve your objective. Learn about some of the metrics that are changing often in your dashboard. Some of the important ones are here. Followers or subscribers. This is the number of people who have followed you or who subscribe to you who will get your content on their timelines. If they really like your content, they will probably get a notification as well. Engagement. This is again higher the better. This means that someone is either say liking or commenting on your content. So the platform on which your content will be, they want higher engagement for the platform. So if your content is getting higher engagement, they'll push your content to more and more people. This will help you sort of reach out to new people. So this will eventually help you increase your number of subscribers or followers. Views. This is the most basic action on your content. This means that someone has just watched your content. Reach. This means that someone has seen the thumbnail or just the post or they've just scrolled by your post or scrolled by your ad. Again, this is higher the better. Click through rates. This is a little bit complicated because it's a ratio. It's essentially number of people who are clicking on the thumbnail or the post divided by the number of people it is reaching to. So this is again higher the better. The more click through rate you have, the more chances of people consuming your content and eventually becoming either a follower or a subscriber. Average time watched. Again, higher the better. This is essentially an average of the amount of time a person is watching your video. So the more average watch time your video has or your content has, the more it will reach out to more and more people. This is also impacted by the quality of your content. So if your content is really great, if your content is really engaging and it can keep a person hooked, you'll have a higher average watch time. Time spent on a page. This is similar to average time watched, but for a web page or for a blog or a long form content. This again you want higher the better. The more engaging your content is, the more time a person would spend on the page and the higher the chances of their conversion. Most of the metrics sound like self-explanatory, but there might be some chances of confusions here and there. So I suggest you to 
google metrics that are important to you so that you know a little bit more about them no cause and effect the numbers in an analytics dashboard are a result of users interacting with your content they tell you how your audience is reacting to the content most often they are all interconnected for example the more views you have the more subscribers you can have or for example someone is just liking your post but is not a subscriber or not visiting your profile it means that they need a little bit of push to actually make that action so you include that in your content and you ask people to either subscribe or you uh, give people a reason to visit the profile by looking at different numbers you can see what is working and what is not for simplicity you can check all of this and just focus on creating the best content that you can but since it's necessary for motivation or information I would suggest you just choose three metrics that are most important to you and then you can keep tracking them over a fixed period of time and across the time duration and across different posts find out relationship between high level metrics and low level metrics for example find out the relationship between a high level metric such as subscribers to a low level metric such as views or a high level metric such as revenue to a low level metric such as page visits so this is how some of the connections work a good quality thumbnail leads to a higher click through rate that leads to higher views and that leads to more subscribers or for example an informative landing page leads to more add to carts that leads to more purchases and that leads to more revenue or a good quality emailer that leads to more repeat visitor and that leads to more sales Notice how each of the chain starts with good quality content so you can just forget about all the numbers and just focus about creating the best content that you can and the results will follow on so you need to trust the process test experiment and what ifs so you trust the process and you're creating amazing things but you want to give people more of what they actually want or what they appreciate here comes testing what you do here is just try two different types of thumbnails for example and see which one is performing better and if one of them is performing considerably better so for example there are more people who are clicking on one of them or one type of them so you create more of that, that type it's as simple as that you can experiment with thumbnails post styles product information the way you write your captions the hashtag you choose the background or the music you use etc An important thing to remember here is don't try to test everything with in just two videos or in just two posts. Experiment one thing at a time and then learn from that and then move ahead and when you want to experiment something else focus another set of posts. If you go on experimenting too many things you would have conclusions which actually don't make sense and you would end up actually getting worse rather than actually learning something valuable from there. the key thing to know is what you are testing and what is it gonna impact where are you gonna look for the results of that test so make the connection first make your assumption or the hypothesis and then go about testing that hypothesis or testing that assumption when starting out do not be too afraid to make mistakes and don't read too much into just one metric sometimes a video or a post might not do better because of reasons the dashboard is not telling you it's also great to ask people for feedback you can ask people for feedback through comment section through forms or the best way is that by directly talking to them the feedback that you'll get directly talking to your audience will always be much better than any analytics dashboard that can give you what matters most is the quality of what you are creating and it is not just one video or one post it's the entire collection your entire collection will have way higher chances of success than just say one video or one post so focus on the collection and not just read too much into one video or one post also do not read too much into numbers that are really small so for example uh, five comments on a post versus say two comments on a post uh, doesn't mean that one is necessarily better than the other wait for the numbers to go a little bit higher before you can get meaningful insights out of them so for example 30 plus so So you can compare forty comments on one video, say with respect to sixty comments on another, or say hundred likes on one with 
200 likes on another getting number obsessive in the beginning is natural but you also need to believe yourself and just test one thing at a time take get learnings out of them and then improve do not go about changing too many things if things are not looking good in the beginning to recap choose an objective for the next two month choose three variables that are most important to you and that you're going to track over time and over posts do an analytics overview once every week don't keep checking it every hour focus on the connections what is changing what and focus on content not on performance thanks as a project to this class i want you to answer the first two questions which is what is your objective for the next two months and what are the three most important variables to you once you've decided these i want you to tell the test that you are going to run in your first week and what did you learn out of those once you've answered these we'll have opportunity to learn more and more you can check out projects of other people to get more learnings out of this class thanks